There's a lot of information in here. Do we need to know all of this? Not at all. It's just a reference in case there are questions. It lists eligible foods and the varieties included, with some explanations about sizing. There should be one at your register in case questions come up. These tabs list all of the categories to make them easy to find. More information about specific brands of formula is on the Infant Formula Flyer. You should keep a copy of this with your food list. For some products, your store selects a brand that meets Wix nutritional requirements. This is often your store brand, but can be other brands. Approved products may also be identified by the WIC label on the shelf. However, just because a WIC eligible product doesn't have a shelf label doesn't mean it's not included. What matters is what is listed in the WIC approved food list. To help clarify WIC eligible items, most pages have a listing of what is not included as well. There are other tips throughout the booklet. Some cashiers find this explanation of the milk math especially useful. For all WIC foods, the customer must buy the type food listed, but they don't have to buy the entire quantity in one visit. What are cash value benefits? Fruits and vegetables are an important part of a healthy diet and an additional WIC food benefit. Cash value benefits show a specific dollar amount. They can be used to purchase WIC eligible fruits and vegetables. They can be fresh, frozen, or canned. Again, the food list has helpful explanations. Is a WIC customer required to buy everything on their card? Not at all. They can buy less than specified, but they may lose the difference. For example, this balance inquiry shows $18 in cash value benefits. The total purchase is $17.50. This means the next purchase has to be less than 50 cents, unless the participant wants to pay the difference. The WIC customer doesn't have to buy all of the cash value benefits in the same visit. She can shop as often as she wants. This is helpful to ensure the food won't spoil or be wasted. The benefits expire monthly and vary for each participant, so they have until the expiration date to buy all of the foods listed. If they don't, those benefits expire. Customers never get money back from eWIC transactions. Also, sales tax is not charged for the amount covered by WIC, but that will be taken care of by the point of sale system. If a customer wants to purchase more than the amount on their balance, they'll need to pay the difference. This also includes paying any sales tax on the difference. Can a customer use their SNAP card with eWIC purchases? Absolutely. A SNAP card or any other credit or debit card can be used to pay the difference. Of course, they may also pay with cash. WIC wants its clients to eat healthy foods and your store to enjoy their business. If you have questions about whether a specific food is allowed and can't seem to locate the answer, check with your manager.